Hello, this is Grant Abbott from Gabbett Media and this is a quick video to show you how to render with a transparent background on both still images and animations. So quite simply to render with a still image, you can see the film tab just here and you click on transparent. So now I've got that transparent and I go to render my scene by pressing render or F12, you can see it has a transparent background. But what about an animation? Okay, the first thing you need to do is check your output. Uh, make sure you put it in a folder because you're going to have lots of still images and it's going to be a still image sequence that you're rendering. And normally for videos you might choose something like H.264 or AVI RAW. If you've got QuickTime installed then you can go for QuickTime and that does actually have the RGBA, with the A stands for alpha and that's what is the channel that controls the transparency. So you need that. I've not had much luck with QuickTime, so I just go for uh, PNGs. Um, you can go for Target or TIFF as well. They're supposed to be higher quality, but I haven't noticed any issues with PNGs. And then you're ready to animate. I've already done this, so um, I'll show you the result. There they all are laid out. And now we need to take this into an image editing program. In Adobe Premiere, you go File, Import. Most programs have similar options, File, Import. Select the first one of your sequence and there is image sequence is ticked. Press open and it will import the whole sequence as a video file. I can drag it down to my timeline now. And if I put it on the a layer above and uh, bring in my background, which is in the same folder, just bring in that background. There it is and put that underneath. We can see we have a transparent background and we have our weird colored background in there. Okay, hope that helps.